Hello and welcome to Samples for Schools Liver Dissection. Here we've got the liver, one of the largest solid organs in the body, and it's also a gland. Now in terms of where your liver is in a human, if you take your right hand and place it under your rib cage, it's approximately just there. And in a human male, this can weigh up to 1.8 kilograms and contain up to a pint of blood. So the liver is made up of a lobe, or two lobes, a largest right lobe and then a slightly smaller left lobe. And the darkish reddish colour is made of all the cells which we call hepatocytes. And the function of these is to remove harmful toxins from the blood. In order for the blood to go through the liver, we have two main vessels. This is the top of the liver and we can see the opening of the hepatic artery and the portal vein. The hepatic artery and portal vein provide the blood supply into the main lobe of the liver and branch out throughout the tissue. So one of the functions of the liver is to produce bile and bile is used in digestion to emulsify lipids. Another function of the liver is to detoxify harmful substances, one of which is hydrogen peroxide, which is naturally produced in the body. We can show this by removing some of the liver tissue and having a chemical reaction with the hydrogen peroxide. In this conical flask, we've got hydrogen peroxide. This is a chemical that's naturally produced in the body by the thyroid and the gut, but it's toxic. So one of the jobs of our liver is to detoxify this. And that's because the liver tissue contains an enzyme called catalase. The catalase reacts with the hydrogen peroxide and turns it into oxygen and water. We can add some of the liver tissue that we dissected into the conical flask and you'll notice the chemical reaction is producing a bubbly foam. We can demonstrate this as oxygen by using the glowing splint technique. I can light a splint, blow it out and the oxygen relights it. Aside from bile production and detoxification, the liver has over 500 functions. For more information on lesson ideas, lesson plans and risk assessments, please see our website www.samplesforschool.co.uk.